Hello friends, I'm Parwes and this is our 21st video in Python to Kinder GUI application development. In the previous video, we have learned how you can add image to your canvas. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can embed uh, matplotlib graphs in tkinter. Uh, first of all, uh, I have, a, uh, if you don't know about matplotlib, I have uh, some videos uh, for in matplotlib. I will add uh, the link to the video description. Uh, for short, descrip short description, uh, matplotlib is a, a visualizing library. It is mostly used for in, uh, for in data science and machine learning uh, for visualizing of data. Uh, now in this video, I want to show you that how you can embed uh, your matplotlib graphs in uh, tkinter. Uh, for this, I have made a new uh, Python file. And like previous videos, I'm going to copy just my window code and paste it in here, uh, like this. Uh, this is my simple window. And let me change the title to tkinter uh, matplotlib embedding, like this. Now if I run this, you can see now I have a nice window. Okay. Uh, before this, we need some imports. Uh, the first import import that we need is uh, from uh, and the important issue uh, you need to install Matplotlib on your computer. Uh, you can simply install Matplotlib by uh, uh, using pip install Matplotlib from Matplotlib uh, dot figure. I'm going to import figure. Also, I need uh, from matplotlib dot backend dot backend tkeg import figure canvas figure canvas uh, tkeg AG, like this. Also, you need to import a navigation toolbar. Okay. Now I'm going to create a new uh, method in here. Diff matplot canvas. It should be in here. And self. Okay. Uh, now the first thing you need, you need to uh, create your figure. Uh, I'm going to create my figure and I give it uh, a figure size, the figure size to 5 by 5. Also, I need a DPI, uh, I give it 100. Uh, also, you need to add this figure to the subplot. So, I'm going to create a new uh, variable and I want to add my figure to the subplot. And I give a uh, subplot one one one. Okay. Now you need to define your data types and plot them. You can simply a dot plot. A dot plot. Now I need uh, some data in here for plotting. I give it one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. 7, 8. Also, I'm going to add another uh, 5, 6, 1, 3, 8, 9, uh, 3, and 5. Okay. This is my data points that I want to plot them in my tkinter canvas. Uh, after this, I'm going to create a canvas, a tkinter canvas. Canvas. Uh, figure canvas and add your figure in here and self after this you need to show the canvas canvas dot show okay now we are going to pack our canvas uh, because if we don't pack our canvas uh, there will not be any graph in tkinter uh, for every widget you need to pack them so i'm going to canvas uh, dot get tk widget dot pack 
like this and now you need to add some parameters at uh, the side I'm going to add bottom and also I'm going to fill this or fill to the bot also you need to expand this to make it true it's a boolean volume and after this we are going to create our uh, uh, navigation toolbar if you check this let me just check this so dot I call my uh, method in here and if I run this uh, now you can see uh, I have embedded successfully my uh, graph uh, that this was this uh, these data points in my uh, uh, tkinter GUI window uh, now we need to create a navigation toolbar for creating navigation toolbar you can simply in here write uh, toolbar navigation toolbar and we want to add our this navigation toolbar to our canvas make it self also pack this uh, pack your uh, toolbar dot underscore tk get dot canvas dot tk canvas and dot pack now you need to add some parameters uh, let me just copy these and paste it in here uh, the site should be top and the fill and expand is uh, this is good okay now I'm going to run this now you can see in here I have a, a navigation toolbar that by this navigation I can uh, zoom uh, my graph and I can do some uh, like this and also I can I can save my graph you can save this okay uh, this was our complete code uh, so uh, before uh, doing this you need to have some information about matplotlib if you don't know I have some series of videos on matplotlib I will add the link to the description you can watch them and you can simply do this if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos don't forget subscription of my channel